What's going on filmmakers? I hope you guys are having a great week. Today is a very exciting day. I've been waiting almost a year for this product, which is really, really cool. It is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Tripod. And this tripod came out literally a year ago and it sort of fell off the radar. Kickstarter was in production and today it finally arrived. So I'm super stoked to do a unboxing of it. For the last year, I've been kicking it with this Amazon Basics Carbon Fiber Tripod. And to be honest, it served me well. I've had friends that have had it and it broke on them, but for me, it's been awesome. It's super lightweight, super small. Um, and this has sort of been my standard for the perfect travel tripod. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm a full-time travel filmmaker and I do a lot of work with tourism boards and airlines. I don't have a lot of room in my camera bag, so having a tripod that's small and lightweight that can fit on the side or pack it into a backpack is super important for me because I'm always on the go and I don't have a lot of room to spare. But today, it's a very exciting day because we get to open the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. Um, I am super excited about it. I've heard amazing things in terms of design and the lightweightness, the strength, everything has just been really good. It is insanely expensive for all my Canadians out there. It is $855 Canadian, which is crazy. I don't know what the exact American conversion is. I think it's 500 something. So it's super expensive. It's not gonna be for everyone. They do have an aluminum version as well if you wanna save some money. And I know the aluminum version isn't that much heavier either, so it might actually be a better option for you. But in today's video, I just wanna do an unboxing, dig into this, check out some of the features, and see if it's worth $855, especially compared to my $100 Amazon Basics carbon fiber tripod. So let's get into it. Take a little wrapping off. Okay, first impression, the box is amazing. Uh, when you're spending this amount of money on a product, you want the packaging to be nice. The first impression when you get this product is it's super nice. We've got a Peak Design logo on the side. And then just this matte black carbon finish. So very nice box, good touch. Some elastic bands to open it up. And... Okay, so once again, the design elements um, that really make this worth the money or help justify the value of this tripod is the packaging. This is insanely skinny. My first impression is how the diameter of it is super small. Um, sort of just like a water bottle, I have a hydro flask for comparison and it's pretty much the same width, which is pretty crazy to have a tripod that fits into that. It is nice having a bag as well to protect it when you're traveling. If it's on the side of your backpack and it's raining or um, it's getting tossed around in luggage carriers in an airplane, it is nice to have some protection on it. Carbon fiber can be damaged, it's not invincible, um, so it definitely helps to have something like this and the overall quality of it is very nice. If you have other Peak Design products, you know how good the quality is, and this is no difference as well. So let's open it up. Okay, first impression, it is a little bit longer than what I'm used to compared to the Amazon Basics one. It is a little bit taller, but it is skinnier as well. So if that is important. I know some backpacks, depending on what camera backpack you have, is the water bottle pouch where people put tripods can actually be pretty skinny. I have some friends that have Ona bags and they can't fit anything in them, um, but something like this, you should definitely be able to fit in that pocket. I gotta say, first impression is the build quality is insane. This thing feels rock solid, um, especially if you have a bigger weight load. I know other people have put out videos where you have a 20 pound weight limit and this camera tripod can take it perfectly. I would not put a 20 pound camera on my Amazon Basics one. That would be insane and it would definitely break, but just the way all the arms feel, how well it slides, 
how well it closes, and then the rigidity of how these locks are. I've seen some photos of people that have put their expensive cameras on super cheap tripods, and it does not end well. Tripods can fall over, your lenses can smash into the ground, into rocks, whatever it's on. So it is important to have a good tripod. I'm not saying you have to go spend $855 on a tripod, but having something solid that you can trust is super important. It's gonna be sturdy if you're doing astro or long exposure or something like that. So definitely recommend it. I'm just gonna play around and see if I can find any cool, cool features. So if you guys aren't aware, Peak Design always uses these mini tripod plates. I have a Shimoda hiking camera backpack and it's really cool because it fits a lot of room, especially when you're going camping and need to have a tent and sleeping bag and stuff. And I also have the capture clip strapped to the outside, which uses these same attachments. So if you have your camera, you can quickly take it on and off the capture clip and then slide it into the plate as well. One of the cool features that I just saw is the sliding ring to lock the tripod plate in place. And once it's locked, you can't release the trigger that takes the plate off. It's a super quick way. There's no screwing to tighten it down one turn and it's locked down, so that is super nice. If you have a really heavy setup, you might have some issues where it's gonna wanna turn a little bit, depending on if you're on an even surface or not. Um, but for most cameras, I shoot on a Sony a7 III and I think this would be perfect. It has this extending arm that goes up and then this drops down and fits right into place. So that is super good design. The compactness of it is awesome, how quickly and easily it slides back into itself. So overall, first impressions are very impressed with this tripod. There's another level on top, which helps make sure you're level. Overall, I think it's the perfect tripod. Peak Design did an amazing job, and I'm very excited to test it out in some future things. I know there's some other little features, like a iPhone mount in the bottom, comes with a Allen key here if you have to do any adjustments to any of the arms. Um, but overall, I think it is awesome. I know it's a lot of money. It's very, very expensive. If I had $855 to spend on some camera gear, a tripod definitely wouldn't be the first thing to spend my money on. But if you're in the market for a tripod and you want the best of the best, I think the Peak Design is the one. I definitely want to do a full review in the future where I take this on some trips, do some adventures, see how I like it. Once the travel bans are lifted due to COVID, I'll definitely be doing some traveling and I'm gonna be bringing this everywhere I go. It's gonna be the perfect travel tripod, but I will do a full review after a couple trips under my belt and give you all the details of if I think this is the perfect tripod and if it's worth the expensive price tag. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you like this easy unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing video for a while, but this was fun to check out my first impressions of the Peak Design tripod. If you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Really do appreciate all the newfound support and new followers. It is very exciting to be back on YouTube and be continuing to make videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you guys next time.